Now when I short out my sensor, the light's going to come on, and that may be a problem. A common question I get is, should you use a PNP or NPN sensor? My default answer is always the one that fits your application, because in a lot of cases, a PLC can only use an NPN or a PNP sensor, depending on whether it's syncing and sourcing. And we have a video on that. But the major point I see brought up when people are talking about the differences between NPN and PNP is what happens when you short them out. I have the sensor set up as PNP, and whenever we put metal in front of it, the green light is going to turn on. And I am running that through this Micro 820 PLC, and I have this basic rung right here. So if it sees input 9, it turns on the green light. Now let's talk about what happens when you short out a PNP sensor, because this is where the argument starts. Is first, I'm going to take this wire that is going to our ground and touch that input and nothing happens and our system is still on now i'm going to take and trip our sensor and you see nothing happens but we're still powered up that's because most sensors limit the current that you can actually run through them so while i shorted out the input it was not allowing enough current to go through the sensor to actually take down our system now the people that want npn sensors say that it's dangerous because you can short out a machine well that's why we have circuit protection but now let me switch this around to an npn setup it works exactly the same i put my screwdriver in front of it and the light turns on only this time when i short out my sensor input the light also comes on. So if you short out an NPN sensor, you'll turn on the PLC input. And if you short out a PNP sensor, then either it won't work if it's a current limiting sensor, or you'll simply short out the system and blow a fuse or a circuit breaker. About now, you're probably wondering about those syncing and sourcing terms that I mentioned earlier. And I have this video that explains them and shows you how to wire them on your PLC.